care about fiber, of course. But then I'm going to show you how to assemble our deal back XF519 and how to use this bike. Thank you. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to assemble the bike. When you uh, remove the packing from the box, you will see uh, the bike looks like this way. And the look at the front wheel is picked up. And the front fender. And we have a uh, give you assemble tools for the fenders. And this is a quick release for the front wheel. Battery and battery key. So first we assemble the handbar. Handbar is almost finished. Just uh, put it back. Lock it. Just more locker, clean, okay. Any bar is a symbol already. Now, you just symbol the front wheel. You will see here is the loader, and the loader should be the same side with the brake, okay. So, I need to change the direction here this way. Cool. Use the quick release kick of the spring, keep one inside, and put a spring here, and use the cover to lock it. I totally cannot move that. Okay. Okay. You can see the bike is almost finished for the way. So now I'm going to assemble the front light and the fender. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how to assemble the front light and uh, the fender. Okay. So first we need to take the bolt from the shoulder of the fork. Take it off. Okay. And put it aside. And put the fender. This side front and this side back. Good here and the front light. Should be like this. Okay. We we'll use this bolt. Get some front light and the shooter of the fork. And then put the fender up here. Okay, very hard. I'm going to use the tool, the either tool. Oh, sure. Okay, there's a Screw cover inside. Must finish. And then change the direction according to need. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to put the battery inside the frame. Okay, there's lower pull and put it out. Okay, pull. And take the battery. Remember, this side lock should be face the ground. Okay, put the E. Okay. Now is the key to lock the battery firmly in the frame. Okay, put the key inside the battery lock, and turn one time, two time. Lock it, okay? Can't take it off, okay? You can see the bike is easy to simple. Now I'm going to show you more about details about this bike, okay? Now I'm going to show you how to turn on and turn off the bike computer, okay? Just press the left hand bar, there's the M button for 3 seconds. 
you can turn on the by computer and press the M button in three seconds again, you can turn off the by computer. Now I'm going to show you how to adjust the pedal assistance level for the on the by computer, okay? First turn on the by computer and you will see here is a PAS1. If I press the M button two three four five the five is the top is the pedal system level is be the fast speed okay if we go to back four three two one zero and then in the there's a pedal assistant level we can use the throttle and the throttle is only working in PS there from PS1 to 5, it's only working for pedal system. Okay, I can tell, show you the difference. I use the throttle, you can see. Now I'm going to show you the pedal system. I'm going to use, uh, let's see, number 3 or 4, or 4, okay. I use the throttle, the response, okay. But I use the pedal system, it will work. Here, there is has a sensor. The sensor will feel the movement when you use the pedal. And they will give a signal to the motor, and the motor will give you a push, okay? And show you how it work. Now I'm going to show you how to use the front light, okay? Press the top button with the light signal. You will see the, the light is on, the blue light is on. And also the front light is on, okay? You can see that. And then press it again, turn off, okay? And then we use the direction light from, for the right side, okay? When you turn right, And then you will see the fresh, this right direction that is fresh, okay? And then we press it again, it turn off. And uh, the same put for the left side. And you will see the left side is fresh. Okay? And then put uh, the right side again. So you can see the both. Uh, a green light is on, and uh, you will see both direction light is uh, fresh. Okay, and then if I hold the brake, hold the brake, and you will see the brake light is also on. If I release the brake, the brake light is off. Okay. And uh, turn off it then. And then there is, is a four for the button. Use that one time. This is uh, the rear derailleur uh, shift lever. Okay. If we want to uh, change the gears, so just uh, use that this button. So you can change the gears. And I want to release the gears and use this button. If you want to change the head of the seat, just open the quick release the seat and pull the seat pulls a little bit within the 79 and lock this lock a little bit and lock the quick release. If you want to fold the pedal, just press and fold. And then you want to unfold it, just push it back. Okay. Now we're going to show you how to fold this uh, bike frame. Here you can see there's a arrow uh, directly front and just uh, pull it and pull out and use your neck. Okay, this is for how to fold and put it back. Now I'm going to show you how to charge the battery. We have two ways to charge the battery. The first way we can charge the 
uh, the better directly uh, put the better inside of the frame, okay? And here is the charging hole uh, in the frame, okay, which has a plug. And you will see the charger light is red. When the charger is uh, becomes green, like this color, which means that the battery is fully charged, okay? And at the same time, when the charger works, uh, normally the charger will become hot, okay? If not hot, which means the charger is not working. Now that we charge the battery, the, put the battery out, okay? We'll use the... You see? The light is red, which means it's charging now. And when it become green, which means that it's a full charge, okay? That's it, so two ways to charge it back. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this video can be helpful to you. If you don't want more about Thai Watcher, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Bye.